friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing, amazing recipes for you. I'm really excited about this more fall inspired pumpkin-esque comfort food meal prep. So if you're excited to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for my recipe website. That is where you will find today's and all of my recipes. It is linked at the very top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. As you know, this is how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, my free supportive Facebook group is also down in that description box. So let's head on into my kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making pumpkin pancakes, but I'm going to do protein pumpkin pancakes with a twist. I think I may add in some chocolate chips. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need oats of your choice. You can use rolled oats, steel cut oats, whatever you would prefer. This is kind of a hybrid of rolled oats and steel cut oats. I actually bought these at Costco. I'm going to be using the Kodiak protein flour. Now they no longer make this, unfortunately. I do have a few bags left, but you can make your own protein flour at home. I will list out how to do that down below. You only need protein powder. I'll list my recommendation and regular flour but I'm going to use that just for some extra protein. I have some Lily's chocolate chips. This is a mix of Lily's and Lakanto. I think I may throw some chocolate chips in just for fun. You're going to need some Lakanto Golden which is a brown sugar substitute. I do have a discount code for Lakanto 15% off site wide. I'll link it down below. Baking powder, unsweetened applesauce, pumpkin pie spice, canned pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, pumpkin puree, eggs, and of course, a pinch of salt. So in typical Jen fashion, I forgot to show you two ingredients that you'll need. Number one is low fat buttermilk. Number two is vanilla extract. So we're going to start with our wet ingredients into a large bowl. So I have half of a cup of my canned pumpkin, three quarters of a cup of Lakanto Golden, half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, vanilla extract, and three eggs. Lastly, one and a half cups of low fat buttermilk. And then we're just going to stir that together until smooth. Then we're going to add in one cup of protein flour, one cup of oats, a pinch of salt, pumpkin pie spice to your liking. You guys know I really like a lot of pumpkin pie spice. And then two tablespoons of baking powder and then go ahead and mix that together. I have my griddle warming up over medium heat sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're just going to drop on our pancakes. We're looking for about 12. So you can make them whatever size you like. I figure however many I get is however many I get. But the recipe does say that the batch makes 12 pancakes. And then you're going to just let those cook until they're kind of firm looking in the middle and then we'll flip them. I'll transfer them to a plate and repeat until all of your batter is gone. So I did add some chocolate chips to this pancake. I decided that it's a lot easier to just cook one at a time, especially on my small griddle. I ended up having to toss the first batch. They all just kind of melded together. So I'm doing one at a time. Like I said, I don't know how many pancakes I'm going to get. It really doesn't matter to me. I'll base my points on that. But I am going to do a few with some chocolate chips. So here is what the completed pancake looks like. I did go ahead and cook up two of them. I'm going to put my batter in a storage container and I'm just going to cook my pancakes fresh each morning. I think that'll just make them a little bit more fresh. They become a little bit spongy sometimes when you reheat them. So I did cook this one. I'm going to eat that today. And then again, I'm just going to portion it. I'm going to pop this into a storage container and I'm probably going to end up getting six large pancakes rather than 12 small pancakes. So I'll put points and calories here on the screen for 12 and for six. For my lunch this week, I'm making chili mac and cheese. I'm so excited for this. I've been craving macaroni and cheese and we're gonna add in some protein, which is a huge win. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need salt and pepper, 
minced garlic and onion, a can of chili or pinto beans and a can of black beans, chicken broth, two cans of diced tomatoes or one large 26 ounce can, pasta of your choice. I'm using this Brahmi pasta that I've had in my pantry. I need to place a fiber gourmet order. I was just trying to get through everything I had on hand and this is my last box of Brahmi. This is basically a protein pasta, 21 grams per serving, light shredded cheese, a pound of 93 or 96% ground beef, cumin and chili pepper. You can also add in cayenne pepper, which I'm omitting because it's too spicy. So let's get started on lunch. You're going to want to pull out a Dutch oven. This is my Caraway Dutch oven. I'm telling you, Caraway is amazing, amazing cookware. I'll link it down below for you if you're interested. We're going to add in our pound of ground beef and we're going to let that start to brown. Once your ground beef is brown, we're going to add in a big heaping scoop of minced garlic and our diced up onion, and we're going to let these cook down for about four or five minutes. Now we're going to add in our seasoning, so our chili powder and our cumin, as well as some salt and pepper. Our diced tomatoes. our drained and rinsed beans, four cups of chicken stock or bone broth, and your pasta. Stir all of that together. We're going to allow this to come to a boil. You want to let it cook long enough that your pasta is cooked through, but not too cooked. You don't want it mushy. It's better that it's al dente a little bit than mushy. So about nine minutes or so for your pasta. So we're going to stir in about a cup of light shredded cheese and then we're going to top the mac and cheese with another cup. So you'll need two cups total. Go ahead and turn off your heat, stir in that cheese and then add the extra right on top. I always like to just pop my lid on and allow the cheese to melt. So here is the completed chili mac and cheese. This looks amazing. I think I'm just going to store it in my Dutch oven, just put the whole Dutch oven into the refrigerator. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I am making pumpkin cake with cinnamon cream cheese frosting. The recipe says blow your mind pumpkin cake. So I'm really excited for this. Let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need some sugar-free maple syrup, sweetener of your choice. Of course, I'm using Lakanto granulated. Don't forget I do have a 15% off discount code for Lakanto down in the description box. Vanilla extract, I'm going to substitute again my protein flour you can use any flour, in fact, the recipe calls for some regular flour, some oat flour, whatever your preference is. Salt, baking soda, pumpkin pie spice, unsweetened applesauce, pumpkin puree, two eggs at room temperature, cream cheese softened, or pumpkin or vanilla yogurt. Light butter, powdered sugar alternative, again, I'm using Lakanto, and then some cinnamon. So to get started on our pumpkin cake, we're going to add our one cup of pumpkin puree one quarter cup of sugar-free syrup, two of our eggs at room temperature, a container of yogurt, and vanilla extract, and then stir all of that together. Then we're going to add in our unsweetened applesauce and give that one more stir. Next, we're adding in two and a half cups of the protein flour, or really any flour, your pumpkin pie spice, a pinch of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. And then give that a stir until mixed. About an eight by eight, nine by nine, whatever you have, baking dish, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray and then add the cake mix. 
We're going to put the cake in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes or until it is cooked through. So I pulled the pumpkin cake out of the oven. I'm going to allow it to cool completely and then we will frost it with the cinnamon cream cheese frosting. So to make the cream cheese frosting, I added three quarters of a cup of Lakanto powder to my bowl. We're going to add four ounces of softened light cream cheese, vanilla extract, a quarter cup of softened light butter, cinnamon, and then we're going to add in milk as needed to make it the right consistency. I'm going to start with just a tiny, tiny bit of milk, and then like I said, we'll just add in what we need to get a frosting consistency. So here is the cream cheese frosting. I'm quickly going to just frost the cake, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is the completed pumpkin cake. I will say this looks pretty amazing. All of the information is here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for another weekly meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. Don't forget they are on my website. My website is linked at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, we'd love to have you come and join our Facebook group. It is free. It's supportive. It's just a super fun place to be. So head on over and join us. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.